Hi, Peter Moore, Edited Shooting Sports Magazine, working on Gunmark TV. Right, we all know how popular 22 semi auto and military look alike rifles are. I'm a huge fan, I've got Smith and Wesson 1522. Uh, Walther are a big player in this game, they've brought you uh, the Uzi, uh, quite a few guns like that, M Colt M16 Tactical Series, HK416, the uh, Beretta um, one, ARX 160. Uh, this is the HK36, Heckland Cock 36, which is a 2 2 rimfire copy of their service rifle, the military service rifle. Um, as I discovered when I was researching it for an article in Shooting Sports Magazine, this version here is more aimed at the civilian market and driven by the American needs as it has a Picatinny rail on top. The actual military 36 uh, has a carry handle system here with a Zeiss combined uh, red dot and low power optic on it. That's the only real difference. This rifle also has iron sights. But the gun is very basic and simple. Four end receiver, but all polymer, as is the real gun, it's very light. Unlike uh, the Colt Tactical guns in the HK416, the barrel is solid. Um, on these early guns, there was a rifled liner with a tube on the outside. This is a solid steel barrel, which it's not about strength, but I just quite like the fact. It's a little bit different from your OJR15. It's not quite as sophisticated in some areas, and in perhaps in others it's more sophisticated. Cocking is by this ambidextrous handle at the top, if you can see that. It sits in the middle when it's not being used. You pull it out, pull back to release, or pull back to release. Quite clever in some ways. Uh, keeping it simple, the rifle has an automatic hold open only, so you put your mag in the gun, last round fires, as you can see, the gun is held open, but there is a manual system, but it's up inside the action here uh, in the magwell, and it's a bit fiddly. So basically, it's not like an AR-15 that has a button on the side you press to hold the gun open. Safety catch is ambidextrous. It's quite easy to use, flick, flick. Magazine catch is one side only. You press in here. Uh, the folding stock is interesting. As is, as is a real rifle. You push this button in here, clips to the side like that, and it's good, good for carriage, it make, makes the gun a lot lighter. Put it open, and that's it. Iron sights are okay, they're not bad at all. 50 yards, you can be hitting things about two inches, just one, two inches. But the rail means you can put a scope on it. I've had a number of scopes on this rifle for testing, and it shoots as well as a Smith or your average 22 type AR or similar rifle. No complaints, not that expensive. I think they're around about between five and six. Um, so, not a bad rifle. Feed, you might, you might recognize this. This is the original magazine from the Walther Colt Tactical Series, which they also used on the HK416, uh, the Beretta ARX 160, and also now on this. This is a 20 rounder, you can get a 10, you can also get a 30, which is just a huge banana of a mag. But typically, the nice thing about it is, it's got a follower a side follower pull down so it's very easy to load rather than just having to jam rounds in through the feed lips you just take the weight of the springs we'll see in a minute and just easily pop rounds into it right so let's get some ammo in this gun and see what she, what she does i found this uh testing with this over the last few months it's been quite reliable well, in fact, been very reliable most of the stoppages are ammo related as in you get a duffer which isn't powerful enough um, but generally speaking, the action keeps quite clean. And the good thing about it is, as we'll see when we strip it down, is unlike the Colt Tactical and the HK416 guns, the gun strips in the rear, so you can actually take the bolt out rather than having to clean it in situ, uh, which makes a hell of a difference to a 2.2 semi-auto. As you see, the rounds are going in nice and easy, and you can pull them down just enough to get the, the rims interlocking the right way. Ears on, magazine in, safety on, just pull back and release, flip the safety. Lock back. This gun, I haven't really cleaned it much. I think I pumped about 400 plus through it on the, on the test a few months ago and I just gave the bolt a wipe over and it's proving very, very reliable. Okay. Let's see how it strips. A little bit different. 
close the action, open the bolt, open the stock, out the way like that. You've got two pins to press out. This one here. And this one here. This allows the magazine well to come away. Shut the gun up and it's this button here you press. You press it in and the pistol grip unit comes out as one hit. With that out, you pull on the spring, as you can see, and the bolt comes out as one. As you see, it's an L-shaped bolt and the cocking handle is integral to it, as is the whole thing. And it comes out easily, um, as, you, as it can also be seen. Get a brush around there, a bit of cloth, you can really wipe the junk out of the gun. And once the gun is open, you can get a brush up in there and clean the bolt face, which is, or sorry, the, the breech face. These are the areas on, a, on most 2.2.7s that cause the biggest problems because you get gunk on there and, and you have the problem the rounds feeding. So that, that's, that's one of the nice things about the gun. So it goes back together like so. Put it in. Put it on the button. Trigger goes in like so. Bolt goes home. Magazine lugs lock in, that shuts up. Open it up. Prove it's clear. That's the HK uh, four months uh, 36. I actually quite like it. I say I'm a, I'm a Smith and Wesson fan, but I would consider this more not more of a fun gun, but something a bit different. And I think if you, there's a lot of people that get sick to death of the T2A R15 because that's what everybody has. This is a good little rifle, and I reckon it's got good long-term shootability. I'll catch you later.